Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Rune News. I'm your host, Ryan Ryan. It's bloody good to have you here. Hope you're all having a fantastic week. Dead Man Mode is still running in old school RuneScape. We're at about the halfway mark now. That's why this week's update is a little bit slow from Jagex. They're preparing for the finals week to begin, I believe, next Monday. The hype for Dead Man Mode has dropped off dramatically. Given the nature of the seasonal event, gold swapping rates aren't really worth your time AFKing skills anymore. So we're just left with clans fighting each other at breaches, PvPers and PKs running around trying to do tasks and uh, compete, I guess, for the finals week. And then content creators trying to maintain the content through dead man mode which is totally understandable considering the fact that if i had to guess i'd say about 70 percent of all pvp and pk runescape youtubers and twitch streamers rely heavily on events like dead man mode to be considered even somewhat relevant in the content creator space we've got to give them their three weeks and let them punch out the content there's a lot of it going on right now lots of views to be made and it is great content to watch everyone's doing it differently once the three weeks are up you can all relax again they can go back to their caves and us real content creators can keep producing the high quality content that you guys love to watch which brings me to my next point before we dive into this week's update which is leagues four trailblazer reloaded really hyped about it i put out a tier list talking about the different regions what i think and what i am looking to do about um my approach for leagues four but what do you think i want to know what you think down below in the comment section what regions do you think you're going to pick What's your battle plan? Let me know what you're thinking about League's Falls. That way I can steal your plans if they're good, or I can criticize them if they're bad, and we can all have a good laugh. That all being said and done, let's move on to the Old School RuneScape update for this week. This week's update for Old School RuneScape involves dead map mode tweaks, which none of us give a shit about, upcoming launcher changes, and more. And as it's explained in the title and thumbnail, provided I actually put this information there otherwise this is going to be a little bit of a shock to you i believe we've got our first official hd client on the launcher so we'll have a look at that today first off dead man mode apocalypse it's dead content these worlds are being shut down to condensed play bases also because there's not that many people playing dead man mode anymore I hate to break it here but that's the reality of the mini game it's great fun don't get me wrong i love playing dead man while i did hypes died off the main game is more important to me it's not as good as legs Dead man is never as good as legs, so we'll move on from there. Jagex launcher updates, new look, check it out. Looks good. Play button, what client, what character, moving on. I think I think it looks awesome. More information about the updates. It's a lot cleaner. I think this is a better look for the Jagex launcher. That's my opinion. I don't know why they're doing screenshots on fucking Apple though. Use Windows. Be a real man. Throw the Mac in the bin. It's overpriced. Hot garbage. Come on, Jagex. You're better than that. Use fucking Windows. Anyways, what else have we got here? HDOS is on the client now too. So I know HDOS has been approved by Jagex and you can use it and everyone's saying, oh yeah, HDOS is awesome client, but it's officially on the launcher now. So there is no denying that HDOS is fully endorsed by Jagex and you can move your account over to the launcher and have HDOS now. It's perfectly fine to go with and like I, I encourage you. I highly recommend you jump on the launcher have your accounts on the launcher. If you use HDOS, now you don't really have an excuse not to use the launcher. This is big for the community. Um, I'm not a big fan of HDOS myself. I, I think the, the community behind it and the client is great. Uh, my experience with it was not the best, but I was using it in really early days just to test it out. Like I couldn't enter the Bandos Gob Wars room because there was no door on the HDOS client. Like it just didn't have a fucking door. So I couldn't go farm Bandos. So I, I gave up from that point, but I just think RuneLight is still too far too resourceful and, and too smooth to give it up for HDOS, you know? I don't really care about HD that much, but this is Jagex's first. Uh, I know they had the uh, the plugin as well, the 117 HD plugin on RuneLight, which was abandoned as soon as everyone rioted for it, and it's honestly dog water. It's, it's not a very good HD plugin. All it does is make endgame content worse. Um, this is the first official, like, fully endorsed HD client by Jagex for Old School RuneScapes. This is big. Awesome, big for the community, absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. You can have up to 20 characters now, I'm sorry, on one login, which is big. Plenty of accounts, plenty of alts. Enhanced security, uh, account security, including stronger passwords, caps, like case sensitive passwords finally, and more, of course. Protection against brute force attempts, which is awesome. Email notifications, I get them all the time when I log in. On mobile, required two-factor uh, two authentication, which is massive. Improved recovery process, including backup codes. 
uh, remembered sessions, easily import characters you may have forgotten about, sorry, and 20 additional bank spaces. There is no downside to using the Jagex launcher. I recommend grabbing it immediately. They've got HD now if that's what you care about. You've got Rune Light on here, you've got the Steam client as well, which is coming along really well, very slowly for fuck's sake, but it's coming along very well. Fat dubs all around for Jagex. Big update, big for security. On the horizon, um, obviously you've got the polls. I think, personally, if you don't know what to vote, vote yes for everything or skip. I don't think there's a single bad update in this poll here. Volumore Community Consultation, I don't care. Just put it in the game when it's ready. I don't care about Community Consultation because everyone in the community has brain damage. Uh, poll 80 changes. More Poll 80 changes are coming, but you have to remember these quality of life changes are... that That's like when devs have spare time. So Dead Man's running. Then we're going to be looking... Probably We'll have time for maybe Poll 80, maybe even Poll 81 to be underway once 80 is implemented. But then you've got Leagues 4 coming. You've got that new quest. Uh, I believe that the Path of Glory is coming by the end of this month as well, which is awesome. And you've got um, the Cox changes too that need to be pulled. And that's going to be... <sighs> Fuck me. I don't know, man. They've uh, cancelled another Forestry Beta, Part 2. This time so they can focus on Mobile TLI Update. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't know, man. Forestry 2 will not include any Ts, which is here. That's important. I don't really care. Put Forestry in the game. I'm fine with it. Move on. Who cares? Other changes. Um, this is actually big. So with the Tazar Slayer tasks, when you get them, if you choose the wrong option, like, you know, when it's Jad or Tazar, if you choose the wrong option or you walk away accidentally, that's fine. You can talk to your Slay Master and, like, reconfirm it. Or you can just go straight to Jad, I believe. But if you attack a Tazar monster, then you can't go back and change it, I believe. It would no longer default to the regular Tazar task if closed. Instead, you'll be able to chat to your Slay Master to make your choice again. So that's awesome. That's fucking huge. That helps a lot of people that misclick. King of the Miscellanea, uh, what are they doing here? Oh, they're changing the way the clock works so everyone gets a free day of resources, to be honest. Just put a Leprechaun at the weeds, please. I know there's a Leprechaun on the other side of the island, but put one at the weeds patch. That'd be awesome so I can get myself a rake. Or put a rake on the side of the wall and an axe at the trees. That way I don't have to worry about carrying a fucking tool around with me, but that's just me. That'd be a nice quality of life. Don't really care otherwise. Stronghold of Security is irrelevant. And um, PvP World Rotor... No longer Oswald for PvP. That's pretty simple. Very basic old school RuneScape update this week. RuneScape 3, a little bit less spicy um, than this, of course, but we'll still go through it quickly before we look at how to make some money on the Grand Exchange. Thank you. Given the nature of this week's OSRS update, where it's really slow and lackluster, there's not a whole lot going on in the game because of dead man mode and so on, uh, we're hoping that RuneScape 3's update this week is a little bit more impactful. It's got some more junk in the trunk, a little bit more, you know, some more meat and potatoes. Um, unfortunately for everyone out there, especially those that play RuneScape 3, the reality is that at the end of the day, RuneScape 3 is fucking dog shit. I need you right now, 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 now. Let's get lost tonight. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Grand Exchange segment for Rune News. My name is Wade Green, and the Void Waker Blade, or well, the Void Waker in general, is up currently on the Grand Exchange. Reason why? Well, Dead Man Mode came out, so it was kind of just chilling, but now that the hype has died off, people realize that it's garbage full of tryhards that we don't have time for. People have gone back to PKing. But those who don't PK still think they're safe because they reckon everyone's going to hang around Dead Man Mode. Turns out it's a garbage game mode in comparison to leagues, so those who think they're safe. Yeah, well, the Void Waker is going to be a pretty handy weapon to have when you come and, you know, light your ass up inside the Cavarian Cave. So, well, Void Waker Blades up at the moment might maintain its price. I think the Void Waker in general is like 160 mil. It'll bounce around that consistently, but Blade is up this week. Looking good, looking strong. The Chromium Ingot this week is continuing to drop quite the slant going down here towards 200k for one Chromium Ingot. You need three for a ring. They're pretty common to get. You can just buy them. The, the Vestige is what you really want. So, I mean... Yeah, no surprise there. It's going to continue to drop, as it should. Now, one of the most valuable trades this week is the Inquisitor's Armor Set. Now, I know it's not a very high-value trade, but it is in the top 50. Modash sent the Inquisitor's Armor Set through specifically because he wanted me to talk about it. So this week, what we're looking at here is that the Inquisitor's Armor Set is continuing to drop, and I believe it's a good time to invest. It, it'll probably drop even more. It was at, what's this, 130 mil nearly flat a couple days ago. I think the Inquisitor's Set will continue to drop until that we have an announcement on new PVM content. Maybe Chambers of Zerk will affect it a little because Inquisitor's armor set's really good in Cox. It depends how they go about scaling and scouting for the raids. Otherwise, I'd say Valamore is probably the next big potential um, PVM boost that we might see something to do with Crush. If not, maybe a new raid, maybe a new boss, who knows. But Inquisitor's armor set 
is currently in the bin and dropping a great time to buy the whole set. Everything except the mace for 135 mil. That is insane. I would recommend investing because it, sooner or later, whether it's six months or 12 months from now, that's going to double easily. And then of course the mole servers. We didn't want to put this on the biggest rise this week, obviously because we had a bunch of pin dicks trying to panic sell on the dip here like morons, but also because... Well, it's nice to just see what else is rising on the market and then also show the grand exchange. So 360 mil for a pair of mole slippers. You got a couple of panic selling retards here. They're like, oh, I've got to sell for a quick profit. Oh. You can make bigger profits and bigger money if you just hold your slippers and get your friends to buy them with you. It's that simple. So buy your mole slippers. They dipped a little. In fact, they're definitely going to go back up. Look at this. You think it's going to, like, it's, it's on the rise. 360k, did I say mil earlier? 360k is a really good price point to buy mole slippers because you're going to triple your money by the end of the year. If we hold it for another year on top of that, you'll quadruple whatever it is times 10 uh, your, your money. We'll easily get these boys to 3.5 mil within 18 months. But for now, by the end of the year, they will hit 1 million GP. I can guarantee it. So buy your mole slippers today. Your boys up here. You should be here underneath me. Get your friends down here and the rest of the pyramid. Get your mole slippers today. Become a rich cunt tomorrow. My name is Wade Green. I'm a big boy. This week's first Iron Man moment starts off with an actual Iron Man. With, well, a green helmet. Unranked group Iron Man, which is, I guess, the lowest form of Iron Man possible. But still an Iron Man, finally, for once. Brittany, violin solo, pulled an imbued heart. 74 fucking mil they're going for at the moment. Imbued heart. At like 80, I think she's like 86 Slayer or something, whatever it is. Massive. Absolutely huge. Big for an Iron Man. Massive for the group. Well done, Brittany, on the uh, on the imbued heart. It doesn't stop there, though, because the cheeky bitch pulled a fucking Bastler's Jaw too. 12 hours later. Back to back. Two big drops. Huge for the group. Huge for the collection log. Within a 12 hour period, both on the green helmet, unranked group Iron Man, Violin Solo, which is massive. So I thought I'd share that this week, which is awesome for someone in the community. Really happy to see that. Finally getting some Iron Man progress. Uh, in the Iron Man moments for Rune News. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all that we have for the Iron Man moments and for Rune News this week. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will see you all next week. Once again, my name is Ryan Ryan from Western Australia. Do not Google that name, whatever you do. And I will see you all in the live stream in about 24 hours' time. Have a good night. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. Yeah. Peace.